Hello, welcome to the first Daily Wellbeing with Gemma. Um, I am trying to use things that would already be in your house that are really easy so that you don't have to break lockdown. So for this we'll need some pens. They can be normal pens, they can be writing pens, little bits of paper, post-its, the back of envelopes, and some sort of container. So you could have a jar, an envelope, or perhaps if you have a nice little box that will work. So the idea behind this one is that right now we're probably focusing on what we're limited by. So I find myself walking around the house thinking, oh, I just fancy cooking that recipe. Ah, I don't have the ingredients. Or it's a gorgeous day outside. Okay, I can go for a walk, but I'm missing out on. So whenever we're thinking about what we're missing out on, we're focusing on the negative. And it's not to say it's not negative. I know it probably is, but how can we reframe that and change it so that we're thinking of the positives instead? So every time you catch yourself thinking of something you're missing out on, let's flip it and let's put it into something we're looking forward to. So grab your bits of paper, jot yourself down what it is you're looking forward to in the future and put it in your when the world stops being crazy jar or your activity bank or your happy things box. So I've done some of mine already. I'll show you some examples. So I live alone and I am so looking forward to real hugs. I haven't hugged anybody for days. So I've written it. I've drawn a little picture. I'm going to fold it up. I'm going to put it in my jar. Okay. Some things might be, um, you know, things, things that you're missing. Some might be things you want to go out and do. So I'm not normally a very outdoorsy person. But I'm seeing the sunshine and just thinking, wouldn't it be lovely to have a picnic out in the sun with a load of friends? I can't do that now. I miss it now because I can't have it. So take it, fold it up, put it inside there. Um, for my work, a lot of my activities involve people kind of touching and getting close to each other. So one of my favourite things is getting people tangled up with string. Great learning game, but can't do that for maybe three months, maybe a year, who knows? I am so looking forward to being able to do that again. In the meantime, I'll think of alternatives. So this is a really good one to do with the family. You can get involved with doodles, you know, having people around for tea, draw little pictures, get kids involved with it. It might be that you have a jar each so that each person in your household has their own ideas of things they wanna do when this is all over. You might have a family-based one, things that you can all enjoy. You can do it two ways. Every time you find yourself complaining, oh, I can't do this thing, write it down. I'm looking forward to that in future. Or as a group or as an individual, you might want to spend five to ten minutes just jotting down some ideas of things you're looking forward to anyway. But this is about being grateful that one day we'll be able to do those things again. It's about getting excited realizing you know this will pass and when it passes I've got loads of ideas of what I can do to to kind of uplift myself so enjoy jotting some things down share some ideas in the comments I'll think of some more as well and let's stay positive bye